hello toots then next definition is round trip time and then time out so let us see what actually the round trip time so round trip time we can say like this from this router to this router suppose r1 and r2 okay so r1 and r2 if you consider from here to here so first we will send the data from r1 to r2 so that he will give the acknowledgement for this packet he will send the first data so then this is the first action done by r1 so it will take some time to reach here then he will give the acknowledgement for this packet so how much time it is taken from here to here and coming back to here so this total time we are calling as a round trip time so <coughs> this we are taking as a diagram like this suppose you started from here transferring the packet to the r1 to r2 okay so it's taken certain amount of time this is the time it is showing so it is data is forwarding okay then r2 will give the acknowledgement for this packet so this total time we are calling as r2 this we are calling as a this round trip time okay so let us see formula wise what actually the round trip time now if you see here uh, same r1 and r2 consider r1 r2 so whenever packet is ready that packet is need to be transmit from this router to the outgoing link so this we are calling as transmission delay so that we have to be consider right so transmission delay plus right so then from here to here it need to be propagate so it means it have to be make a journey from r1 to r2 so that we are is propagation delay right so that is also we have to be consider in this round trip time so propagation delay after reaching here as we mentioned in the definitions of delays so after coming here it have to be wait in the buffer so that it have to be wait in this buffer if pro router is busy so queuing delay also you have to be consider here then after queuing delay obviously router will take that packet right so then it is going to process that packet so that is also will take certain amount of time so that is processing delay make sure that this is propagation delay and this is processing delay okay then after processing it have to be give the acknowledgement to this as we mentioned here it have to be give acknowledgement so that acknowledgement needs to be transmit to the outgoing link from the r2 so this will take some time this is transmission delay is for data okay and this is transmission delay for acknowledging isn't it so that's why once again you need a transmission delay if you see this is at r1 and this is r1 to r okay and this queuing delay at r2 and this processing delay at r2 then this is transmission delay at r2 is it clear so then after transmitting that packet that acknowledgement packet it need to be propagate to the r1 so that is once again propagation delay so this is propagation delay this is from r2 to r1 okay 
so this all together we are calling round trip time so if you observe this in this case certain we are assuming we are going for assumptions of some of the delays we are making some of the delays completely zero but in real time those are not actually zero so but comparatively very 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 less assume that if you have a 10000 rupees and you have the 10 more rupees then whenever anybody ask you will say that 10000 rupees only we are not considering that 10 rupees of course it is there but we are going for approximate approximation because 10 rupees is very very less than 10000 so that's why we are saying only 10000 so in this case we'll also some of them we are making as a zeros so that we are going for approximation of this round trip time so in that first one we are going to make it as queuing delay queuing delay we are assuming as zero because whenever this packet is this is queuing delay at r2 means this step we are talking at now so whenever this packet is reached here it have to be wait in the buffer assume that this is the first packet reached here or whenever this packet is came to here at r2 r2 is ideal assume that if it is a first packet obviously r2 is ideal even if it is not a first packet suppose there is no packets to process so that r2 is ready in the both the cases r2 is ready to accept this packet so there is no need to wait here so obviously queuing delay will become zero but this is not all the cases but we are going for assumption here so then process then if you see transmission delay next one is transmission delay this is also we are assuming as a zero because transmission delay at here this one so as we mentioned that we are giving the acknowledgement so acknowledgements we have the three kinds of data data packet one is data packet another one is control packet data packet control packet then we have the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement packet so if you see the data packets case data packet suppose 64000 bytes of data you have header is 40 but control packets if you see 100 bytes of data and 40 bytes of header if you see the acknowledgements only 40 bytes so by seeing this one the transmission delay for this packet is very high assume that it is taking 100 seconds for the transmission delay of acknowledgement packet is maybe nano or microseconds so that transmission delay for acknowledgement is very very less than this data packet transmission delay of this data packet so that's why we are going for making this one as zero transmission delay at this point so next one is processing delay also we are going to make it as zero because this is we are making as zero zero because processing delay is not considered because when data link layer is sending back this acknowledgement it send the packet to the network layer suppose if you see here this is physical layer data link layer then network layer okay whenever packet is reached here this data link layer simply it forward to the network layer okay and data link layer will give acknowledge okay so that's why here it is it is time is almost zero because that actually processed by network layer not by the data link layer so if it because crt calculation will be done at data link layer it will compare the crcs 
if both are same means data is original so when data is original it have to be give the acknowledgement and packet is submitting to the data link layer data link layer here functionality is it is sending or forwarding that original packet to the data network layer then after sending this one this data link layer is giving acknowledgement so here there is no processing delay so that's why you are considering this one as a processing delay as a zero so after making these all assumptions if you see what a round trip time transmission delay plus propagation delay plus propagation delay see here we have one transmission delay that is this one data packet transmission delay and second propagation delay from r1 to r2 then r2 to r1 propagation delay so these three parameters are remain and certain times we are going to make this is also as a zero because for the control packets this transmission delay also is approximately zero and for the and one more thing is why we are making this one is zero is propagation delay will take much time than this transmission delay so obviously with the same example 10000 rupees and one 10 rupees so we are saying that always so round trip time we are going to approximate this value 2 into propagation delay hope you understand this transmission delay why we are we are making it as zero because comparatively transmission delay is very very less than this propagation delay suppose propagation delay is 1000 seconds transmission delay is maybe 1 second 1 or 2 seconds so in that case you no need to consider this transmission delay so that's why we are going for approximation that 2 into propagation delay because one time propagation delay here one time propagation delay so 2 into propagation delay this is actual formula for round trip time 